We are in game number three between these two players. Uh, as far as Brad's list is concerned, yeah, no spice here. I don't know. I was wondering, a little curious if he'd have a card like Dig Through Time in his list, but he does not. So looks like we're in game number three here. Brisk is going to cast a Stone Forge Mystic and go a searching. Looks like Nelson may have just tried to resolve something big and failed. Doesn't look like he has a lot of cards in his hand. It yeah, down to what appears to be just one card. Yeah. So we're obviously a counter war to take place. Batter Skull going to be added to the grip. Nelson will draw cards. Copy of Emberpool, so that explains it. There's a Ponder. So, perhaps somebody's looking for a little uh, a little show and tell action. Well, Rudy's defenses are down. Yeah. Just Flooded Strand and Batter Skull. See what Nelson's able to find here in just a moment as he does get with a hearty shuffle. So Ponder will take a look at three of them. That was a quick shuffle there for Brad, so he did not find what he was looking for, but a mystery card coming. Just looking for, I'm sure show and tell is the ideal. He would accept sneak attack. Nelson number 13 on our season four open series leaderboard again. He'll be traveling to every open series event as he is trying to climb up the leaderboard to qualify for the Players' Championship, get one of those eight at large bids. Not a great standard open form yesterday playing Blood Heroic, but he's off to a beautiful start here. As he does draw a mystery card from Ponder, he'll pass it back. Briscoe will draw a copy of Spell Pierce. He'll play a Flooded Strand and just pass the turn back over to Nelson, who will draw. And Spell Pierce is an enormous draw here for Rudy because Brad is not in a position to play over the top of it. Mm -hmm. If he does draw Show and Tell, I suppose he can tap three, blow up the City of Traitors if he's aware of it. But Sneak Attack is going to be very challenging to resolve and... I think Caracas might seal the deal. That just made it a lot harder as Briscoe will play that one. Here's a Ponder. So now if you're Nelson, you have to find actual sneak attack. Show and tell's not going to get the job done anymore. It's not impossible for Brad to get his way through this, but the combination of cards he needs, it, it's growing. The list is growing. Nelson going to keep with Ponder. Game certainly just got a lot harder, that's for sure. Brainstorm. Good to go. Take a look at three of them. Two, of course, will have to go back. Let's see what Nelson can put together here on this turn, as he is certainly under the pressure now. Briscoe attacking for five each turn. Crocus was the draw last turn. He's got a spell pierce at the ready. Yeah, I mean, Rudy was effectively on empty, just trying to win with Batter Skull and Stoneforge Mystic, which is possible, but it's a very slow clock. The last two draw steps have offered a lot of help. Tough brainstorm to resolve here. I'm trying to figure out a way out of this. And you can tell, Nelson, not too sure what to do. He did find a sneak attack, so that's mighty important. And the other thing to consider in all this, Brad has to make the decision of, do I play a fetch land, lose the city traders, and shuffle away, or do I keep the city traders in play and try to win with what's in my hand? Because mm -hmm. he has a second city of traders. So in terms of powering out mana, if he keeps the one and then plays the second one, that's a lot of mana he's generated. Yeah. It's a hard decision. But, you know, brainstorming is really tough. So there is that. There's nothing easy about it. I don't know what I would do either if I was in this spot. Yeah, the whole question here, I mean, if you're trying to deduce this logically, the whole thing has to start with, am I shuffling or am I keeping City of Traders? Yeah, it looks like he has been prompted to finally make a decision here. Don't want to wait too long. You start working your way into slow play, slow play territory then. Yeah, just because a decision is complicated does not mean that you can take an inordinate amount of time. It's a common fallacy when people interpret the slow play rules. So that's in. Nelson will pass the turn back. Briscoe will draw a card. Didn't get a great look, but here's an attack for five. Going to gain some life, and Nelson going to take some damage. Looks like maybe a true nemesis. Yeah, absolutely. Pressuring up. And Brad has now fallen so low that even if he's able to sneak attack in a number of Rudy gets to keep enough of his board. 
Yeah, it looks like that's the case. This here's a brainstorm. Me, he can just he can throw away just five land Stoneforge Mystic can be done with it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Rudy Briscoe gonna win this match over Brad Nelson. Two games to one. He moves on to seven and zero, and it looks like he has the opportunity to double draw here. With very Jeskai Stoneblade deck. Very exciting, given that Rudy is brewing this weekend. I mean, it, you know, it's.